thousand years before uh, shit like that can, you know, well, can, can that be, may be technically true, but, yeah. capable. We're here tonight. We got uh, Shockwave, Andy, and uh, where's Neil? Is Neil not here? No, not yet. I got to give him a call. Hold on. Make sure he gets. I probably won't be staying super late because uh, I got to go get up at six o'clock in the morning to go to a gun show. Okay. I'm just glad to have you back. That's a blessing. And I know that, you know, you do a great job. I try. Really your expertise. You have a lot of knowledge. Well, I'm old. I've learned a lot of shit. Yeah, you're a young guy. <laughs> and I have, and I have decent uh, ability to, you know, read through the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sometimes, you know, it takes a uh, little discernment. Yeah, isn't a bad thing. I takes a lot of years to learn it too doesn't it um shockwave and then and then you've got to be careful because you can easily get trapped still just the same oh yeah, oh, yeah. that's yeah, great yeah, yeah that's it's good great. to have good good people to talk to so you know someone comes along with a brilliant idea and you think gee that's good and you have Everyone. a chat to a few people let you know pretty well yeah. And then you come away. Oh, I don't think I'll. I don't think I'll get involved in that. <laughs> every every yes. once in a while, every once in a while, I cre I question quest. Oh, sorry, I question the electric universe and and their theories. But then I say, "Are you fucking stupid?" To well, oh, I know. <laughs> I I, I know. I lose my patience sometimes too. <laughs> you know. Well, when you listen to that, what you were talking about, Greg, with. Billy Carlson. At the end yeah. of the day, he mm. wasn't discounting. Like they don't use the same wording as us, but when they're talking about everything, and well, it's it, it all comes back to the electric Billy, universe. Billy Carson. You no, know, they're just they're just not accepting it. They, but they're just not accepting it yet. Right. <clears throat> you know. Well, that's, that's that's really what it is. They're looking for something bigger. You know. Um, well, they are consciously suppressing electricity. Yeah, like that, like that black yeah. actor that was hanging out with Neil and the and the boys, and then he he he, he left he left them, and and stopped hanging out with the Electric Universe guys because he thought he figured it out. What, who is Terrence that? Allen. <clears throat> I think it's Terrence Allen. Yeah. He's an actor, and and he, you know, know, not a not a big actor, but uh, he 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 got involved in the flower of life and and numbers and all of that shit, and he got lost in it. Excuse me. For a minute. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the point too. Um, Shockwave, you, yeah. through life you have to be careful that you don't get. Like, it doesn't become your life, if you get what I mean. You, you know, you still got to have all these other broad things you can do. You know? yeah. It's easy to get into one thing and then forget everything else around you. And then one that's day, why you I like to, to, that's why I like to fly I? RC planes and I like to shoot my guns mm -hmm. and I like to learn mm -hmm. about reloading and like to do other things. That's right. It keeps keeps, yeah, you, well, keeps your mind busy and active and thinking, and, yeah. you know. Yes, yes. It, 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 whether you believe it or not, it increases your IQ as well. Probably does. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of it, too, is you meet a lot of different people. And, you know, like what I mean is you don't have to agree with things they say, but <clears throat> you, know, you get to understand all different things in life. You know, that, yeah. that's one of the things. Yeah. We'll get back. Uh, It just, it really, you know, I mean, on his video, I I wrote probably two or three paragraphs. So I said, Billy, you know, your ancient knowledge is great, but your cosmology is wrong. First of all, I told him about 
Mayor Velikovsky in the Electric Universe Center in Theory. He wrote yeah. about three or four paragraphs. I hope he reads it. Well, no. if he does, he does, but he, he's not going to. He's not going to change his tune what he's talking about if it's if it's got nothing to do with the electric universe because it makes him clicks and it makes him YouTube money. What he, oh, he's, that's what he's correct. Saying. You know, so, that's correct. That's correct. Shock wife. He makes his income out of that doing doing the Egypt stuff. And yep. so he was talking about where hopefully next year he can organize a tour. Turkey. He probably believes well, that, that there there was, uh, there. He I, probably I, believes that there was black people in ancient England. Well, actually, I'll tell you he, what, actually, he, I he, heard him why I stopped listening to him a few years ago was because he was on um on uh, Jimmy Church's show and he was banging on how the original original people were, were how all had to be black. There are yeah. black Jews in Egypt. The out of Africa theory. He, he, it was the only one he could come up with. And that theory is so old they didn't even know the Holocaust that. And that theory out of Africa is starting to be debunked. It's starting oh, yes. they're 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 showing it through genetics that that theory is incorrect. Out of Australia is more like it. No. That's that's well right. even that uh, you can't have that either when you nope. sit down and look at it. You can't just have that like either. That doesn't work either. Out of the north. Out of well, yeah, the northern of course, European right. region. Right, came, and that's what I try came to Cro, explain. Came Cro-Magnon. It's just, you know, I mean, it, it to me, for people with his intelligence to not even be aware of the electric universe, it kind of just makes me go, hmm. I mean, this guy, he's a, a millionaire celebrity tv star he presents himself as a millionaire i don't think he oh dude he makes his posts on facebook from different luxury cars and freaking mansions i yeah. don't know if that's his house or not but you can rent that shit dude. he's on aliens uh what <clears throat> on on uh tv he's got to yeah. be making bucks for that he's got uh a book a bestseller called forbidden knowledge he's got a song that's selling. He's got uh, like five books. The guy's written like five or six books. And he's giving away a Bentley if you join his TV show, his TV <laughs> channel. He's got a channel that he hires other people to be under him, kind of like what Ramon's doing. Right. Yeah. That's, you know, and I, I love the guy, but there's a couple of things that I don't care for, but I don't know his scene. And I don't want to sound like I'm jealous. I'm majorly jealous, but that's okay. But, uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, that's okay. he'd be making a good income. Put it that way, Greg. Yeah, he'd be making a good he's income. making a decent income, and uh, a right. lot of a lot of the stuff that uh, that he shows probably isn't his. He's probably renting it or, or or whatever. He breaks down the emerald tablets. I know that's what yeah. uh, that's what got me into watching his stuff to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just but he'll tell you. But he'll tell you he didn't he didn't develop that. No. Right? He'll no. tell you it's already done. All he's doing is telling the story. Right. He went and got it. Right. A... So he's just a he's just a great communicator. Yeah, I that think was that was what that was what I seen is he's a great communicator and and it's good to have people people that can communicate like that. And you right? can make money if you're a communicator. Well, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah and that's if right. You, and if you if you know how to market yourself Ooh. again you can make fucking good money so those two those two aspects you know can lead people in good directions yeah 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 so, I mean, you know, he I gives like... some knowledge good knowledge too like for example why the 33rd masons are 33rd mm -hmm. Because when leaving Earth's atmosphere, you have to go exactly 33 times the speed of sound to, to achieve escape velocity. The only runway at SpaceX is runway that, 33. That's a coincidence. You think there it's was a never Well, 33. They, you don't think 30, they knew 30, that? No, man. The 33rd Masons, well, it, you know, yeah. that, that shit was 
like in the 1600s, 1700s, they didn't know about fucking velocities and shit like that to be able to leave the Earth. I don't know, man. They didn't, all they didn't, didn't have. They didn't have any gravity equations until Einstein came. Kinds along. of stuff what, wrapped what up in the Great Pyramid. Pyramid. What are you talking about? They got the speed of what light, is, the distance uh, to the sun, all kinds of shit are written in it. Yeah. But what he's saying is, um, shockwave is that's all been knowledge that's been known in the past, and then and now. So throughout one of his discussions, he says we've reached pinnacles four times and fallen. All right, and so he's saying we rediscovered that knowledge is is and so we're rediscovering the knowledge. But when I heard that, of course, right. It's been rediscovered. There's nothing new under the sun. But what blew my mind yeah. about the consciousness thing is I thought, oh, this has to be bullshit. He said they achieved two things. They transferred the consciousness of a monkey into a computer where it thought it was alive, climbing trees and eating bananas, but its body was dead. And the other one was they transferred a soldier's uh, consciousness into a robot. Yeah, no, that's... And I I looked it up, and it's true. That's what blew my mind about it. I mean, it's... Just look it up. See what that has to say. I don't know why they would say that. You know, they say a lot of things that aren't true, but they never admit to anything. You know that. They lie about everything, but this time they kind of get caught because he pulled that shit out of the ancient text. Now, I don't know. You know, that's like I said, it's for another day, for another podcast, but uh, I just found it extremely interesting. And that's what I like. <clears throat> Weird. The weirder, the better sometimes. Yeah, interesting stuff can be interesting at times and can grow waste of time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like I said, it's getting to the point, mainstream cosmology, that I don't just, what are they going to do? Just keep on going with the whole Einstein hoax forever? They've got to, the more data that comes in, the more and more it proves that we live in an electric universe. But somehow, they're able to deflect it all. That drives me nuts, man. Yeah. Call, call it pseudoscience. Ridiculous. I mean, what is it about the force of the of the electric force being ten to the thirty nine times more powerful than zero than gravity? That's less than zero. How could gravity do? Yeah. Well, gra- gravity has an influence inside the solar system, inside the gravity well, basically. You can call it, I guess you could call it like a gravity well where the sun is electromagnetic. And it's sorting everything electromagnetically around it. And gravity is an inherent uh, part of matter. And because of that, because of the ether that we're in, it's basically instant communication between bodies in space so every everything knows where everything is That's without right. w- without having that information had ha- having to be transferred at light speed it, it's instantaneous without hesitation i was about to say well, absolutely action, I mean, it's spooky instant. action at a distance yeah Well, you know, they also claim that they've achieved uh, teleportation, which I don't believe, but let's no. just say they did. Now, no. the guy that, you know, that that electric genius that repeated some of uh, Tesla's uh, experiments, what was his name? Dollar, Eric Dollar. Eric Dollar. Yep. He claims that if you had two machines and they were synced electrically, you could... Go into one and come out the other. Mm. As long as they were on. That's yeah, the- well, you go back to that talk that we were talking about before with Billy Carson. What he was talking about was the frequencies. And right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Oh. A similar thing. It's all, if you think, if you get the, all your frequencies correct, you know, that was what, that was basically his, his yeah. thing too. Right. Yeah, well, <laughs> all of the, we all yeah, he was talking about. The idea that we live in a hologram, that we're not really real because 
and it's all to do with that. Um, you know all that, that shit's. You know, you know all that shit's based on. Um, oh, shit, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Go ahead, keep talking. I'm with oh, you. So, so basically, it's to do with with the frequency I'm in and you, um, you know, all your atoms you, oh. and everything, and when they combine, and that's what I see, that's what I sit on. But really, it's only because I'm in that frequency to see it, to, that it works. That's what you know, I, what you know, all that shit's based on false mathematical theory, right? Yeah. Okay. All, all, all of those things are based right. on false. I mean, like it, it's just, it's, it's possible how to have multiple universes. Yes, mathematically, yes, but they don't exist. Paul Thornhill <laughs> calls it rat bag nonsense. Yeah. Well. I'm well, they may exist, but we can't prove they may exist. So really, they don't exist, saying, dude. Stop, like, they, don't it, exist. they don't exist, man. There, there, what there, don't isn't, exist? there isn't multiple universes or oh. multiple, and like well, the MCU. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's an awesome story, man. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's not real. I, I mean, I, I, I'm with Wall when he said that if you wormholes, if you wanted thing. to time travel, you'd have to take the entire universe with you. That's what Wall. Now it's possible to. In other words, you can't. I, just, I mean, it's possible. Yeah, it's it's possible that he's right. I mean, I don't yeah, think yeah. I don't think you can time travel at all. I don't think you can no, travel from one place in the universe. To another place in the universe, like these UFO people say, through wormholes, at all, it's not possible. No, I don't think that. The I only mean, way, the only way somehow. we're traveling through space is point A to point B. I, yeah, but and, I just—if we travel to the stars, there's no way we could wait for forty years to get there. We'd have to get there uh, uh, quicker somehow. No, there's just no way. That, there's no way you could travel faster than light well, and, and survive it. There's. Uh, how is your ship going to detect a rock or a pebble or a, or or a or a, a boulder that you're that you're flying towards faster than the light, the speed of light if 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 there's yeah. nothing travels faster than the speed of light and you can't yeah. detect this thing that's in front of you and you can't move it because you can't detect it you're gonna fly right into it, and it's gonna destroy you. No, man, it's not. It's well, not possible. Right through it. mm. Or you'd go right through it. Well, you like, not, not, like, not, well, not, not that you go right through it. It would go right through you, <laughs> destroying thing, your ship. Have you, are you familiar with the uh, the story of, of uh, the seven tablets of creation? No, I've been reading them. They're pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm, it's the whole Anunnaki thing. Here's oh, the thing: it okay. drives me nuts when they start talking about Nibiru. There is not a brown dwarf star that orbits the sun every forty-two hundred years or whatever they claim. It's impossible. Or we'd see Nemesis. It. Nemesis is this new sun that we're in, under now, and Nibiru is Jupiter. I thought it was Saturn because they said oh, it came. Nibiru. It was an interloper into our solar system. That's yeah, well, Saturn. our solar system was. Think about it, Greg. Our solar system was Mars, us, and Saturn and, orbiting and inside and inside the Purple Dawn. When right. the Purple Dawn dropped, we saw this new star called Nemesis. Right. All hell broke loose. Most of everybody died on the planet, mm -hmm. and the kids of the people that were alive. For a couple, for a hundred years or whatever, or a couple hundred years, because they had longer lifespans. They back claim then. one. But they, they didn't believe their their parents that this isn't their original star, the sun. Right. So that this original, this sun became our only sun, and we've been here forever. It's in the Papa Vu. Like yeah, a man was five, five different, five different suns we've had. 
I only thought it was three. I wasn't aware there was five. five. But hey, you never know. I mean, we could have, we we might be millions of years old. We don't know. We might only be a thousand. I mean, really. I mean, our species. I, it's hard to say. I mean, I don't think we came from here, dude. Yeah, we did. I don't think so. Well, I mean, what do we do? Somehow. Rise out of the ground? You know, like did we get created with dirt and sand? I mean, I think there was a freaking guy that was meddling around with DNA. No. There's already a a, a, no. a tie at the second nodule. It's not. Uh, it's not necessary. I'll play that. Our play that. our sec our second and third um, chromosomes are fused together. And I have that. And broke apart and mm. fused together. That wasn't caused by ET. That was caused by electrical discharge. We well, know. Possible. That in the we, lab, get... we know that in the lab, they can work DNA with what? Electric discharge. Yep. Yep. But at some point, something has to be real. I mean, all this shit could have been happening at the same time. First of all, you might have a couple of planets that were uh, inhabited, and we had to come down to one planet. That might explain the races. Uh, we all had to come to one planet because it was the only one left that could sustain life. That's just my. Bigger. Well, what would we do? We bigger, would war. We were bigger and stupider in our ancient past. And we've warred since. <laughs> then, then, then the event happened, and there was. Uh, there's a, a legend of a woman that said, in her youth, her children were large and not so smart. And in her, after the event, her children became smaller and and smarter. What does that tell you? She got zapped by electricity, and it changed her DNA, changing her children's DNA. Because we know, well, environment we, ties, know yes, we know, we know. We know environmental factors will change a person's DNA, and that person, that person's DNA that's been changed, will give it to their children. In the case yes. of a, in in the case of a a swimmer, in uh, up up in Norway or Sweden or some place where where it was really really cold, she moved there. She developed a second layer of blubber. And she gave that to her kids. That's direct uh, environmental change to your body and your DNA's past. Well, you know, I, I always children. say that uh, electricity is the un the magic of the universe. I mean, really, when you think about it, it's magic. It, it it's has responsible. To. It's responsible for for what for. Life for the for the um, the magnetic field that surrounds our planet is responsible for Rupert Sheldrake's uh, morphogenic field that's mm -hmm. that he says is that surrounds the Earth. But I think this morphogenic field is everywhere. I mean, everywhere, everywhere in space. This God morphogenic field that we've we upload and download our info our our we get information downloaded to us like how could how could beethoven wake up in the middle of the night with a symphony in his head right shit like that you know like inventors waking up in the middle of the night with the idea in their head and they got to get it on mm -hmm. paper there's so many instances of that happening and I don't think that that we're not connected to anything that we're individual and we're we're just brains walking around no there's more to it than that oh absolutely I do agree. I do agree with that we're not just like cockroaches and well, you know why when, when we all and Take, yes. Believe, and believe when, it or not, human, humanity is a part of a collective. Yes, and when we work together for something common, what do you mean by common, that? 
when we work together, Shockwave, for something in common, we become very, very good, very good at it. You know, like what he what um, he just said. But the trouble is, we get individualized so easily, and we think, "Oh, I did, I can do it on my own." But, but like I say, when we what, group together for a common cause, nothing stops us, does it? Greg, what he just said. Yeah. Uh, well, we're so we're it, all connected to one another, right. and we yeah. don't realize it because of our six or five senses: smell, hearing, eyesight, feel. All of those senses. <laughs> you know, I can't blind tell us you. to the fact that we're connected to one another, and we're connected to this fucking morphogenic field that Rupert Sheldrake talks about. Yes, oh, great. yes that is interesting. Um, I was gonna, I was trying to hold on to the thought, but I was listening and I forgot what I was gonna say. Well, I was gonna say a little bit more that okay. our soul is confused with this connection that we have to this morphogenic field. We think yes. that we have a soul. Yes. I think that when we're gone, we, it's just like it, it's just like a radio that's burned out a bulb. Well, we're or electricity. Or transistors or whatever, and it doesn't work sword. anymore. You can't turn it on anymore. It just doesn't do what it was made to do. When you die, all of that wiring is shut down, and that's it. You're done. You're finished, only, you're finished uploading and you're finished downloading. That's it. No, only, no only, the, the only the That's dead it. knows what it's like to be dead. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll put a bit of a slant to that then, Shockwave. The, the thing is, my view is when you die, well, the energy that's within that's going to leave and that will go somewhere. Now, that could be fractured and Turn into, oh, I'm not sure, but my, my view is the energy that is you when you pass on, <clears throat> that energy's got to go somewhere, you know, like and and that's it's a, a little thing. bit different to say a radio because the bulb goes, the radio stops, but there's not really energy held within it other than a, the embodied energy. So the energy within. Has to and go. That's, that's also that's, an ancient concept of of how uh, life is. It's a very ancient concept, the, the way you're thinking there. Mm. I'm trying yeah. to think outside the box. I try and think outside oh. the box and try and come up with something that's makes sense. Yep. I, understand. Different. I understand where you're coming from. Is like, yes. When 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 I go, that individual that was me is gone. I, I understand that 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 too. Yeah, yes. and and it's not like it's not like your your thinking brain gets uh, gets uploaded into the no no and no. and you keep thinking and you keep doing and you, no man it's it's your experiences are out there and. Again, that's uh, that's another reason why I think that people think that you know that there were famous people and uh, throughout history Did because you know, they get they get little they get little pieces of memories because of the water that they contain that also mm -hmm. that person that was alive back then possibly contained a molecule of that water and that's a connection yep. to that person. And you'll be able to download a memory from that person. I take it you don't that. agree with reincarnation. No. I do. That's again it's an it's another an individual thing, isn't it? It's it, an individual it's a, it's, a, it's a it's a a means to control the population if you if you get well, the, all the religions, all, all of them, all of them are based on fear. I mean, hell wasn't invented until the 1600s. They threw it, the Vatican threw it in the Bible to scare people into being Christians. Well, Catholic, I, would, I would say maybe the Christian hell wasn't invented, but the concept of hell was already there. Hell, the God, the God of the underworld, in the, Bible in the, 1600s. the God of the underworld. Uh, uh, Osiris, who was watching watching over the underworld in ancient Egypt, 
he was mm-hmm. that was basically hell if you couldn't pay the if you couldn't pay the price you were sent to the underworld i'm just talking if you were if, if you could pay the price you were a god a god who loves you sending you to hell. It, just, it doesn't compute to me any of it a god a, a, a creator of love because that's what permeates the universe is love that's the most probably as powerful as electricity and you know why would he create evil i just don't understand that well that's, well Greg, have, that's a concept of your beliefs yeah. you say that's a concept of belief because what may be evil to me may not be evil to you if you understand so you hear it used today right and it's yeah. basically what you were saying about before with some of the religions and the fear. Mm-hmm. So, so I Buddhist. now use that word evil mm-hmm. to make you accept my view in that, as an example, in today's world, Putin's evil, right? <clears throat> well, if you listen to his view, it's the other way around. Um, neither yeah, are, I, well, I'd that, argue, yeah. neither are correct. I'd argue neither are correct. Everyone and it's about so. yes, yeah. controlling, controlling the pop, populace. Yep. Uh, at the end, I would, there's a lot of control. I, I got to tell you, the one thing I forgot to talk, say is that since I stopped watching TV, it's been about seven years now. I have expanded my consciousness twofold, at least. Since I stopped, I think TV is what gets people indoctrinated into that shit. Hollywood. Hollywood. All of it. The news is always bad. You know, be afraid. Uh, you know, every every science is a freaking fairy tale. It's, they, they think we can't handle the truth. Well, that might be true for some of the population because there are some dumb people out there. Oh, They're folks, out I a recommend road. if you want to increase your IQ. Go watch, go watch all of the Electric Universe videos. I have. I've seen one. Every one. No, I'm not talking about you, Greg. Oh. I'm talking about the folks that are listed that are going to be oh. listed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's why I said folks. <laughs> go watch every single last goddamn EU video that they have put out from okay. day one until today. They we have, have so many videos. Channel. I when I power watched them, it took me almost two weeks to get through them. Where you power watched every last video? Every one. Like I made my playlist as I was power watching. It took I me got two, over three hundred videos in there. It, it took me two years, dude. Oh, I just I watched, power I watched, watched them, but nonstop. I was, I was well, you watched them on when I discovered I, it, it changed my life. I came home from work on on tur- I turn on the computer and I start watching EU videos. Yeah. Till until I went to bed. Yeah, well, that's you. You're, you're, that's your style. I mean, you, and then, on, you, and then on the weekend, turn mm-hmm. on the computer, start watching, mm-hmm. start watching. But videos, that's how you are first about thing in the morning and shut it off. Uh, I'm, I, I played a couple of hours here and there of World of Tank, World of Tanks in between. But I mean, if you want to learn. You got to focus. Like, you yeah. have to focus. You can't just watch a video once. You got to see it at least three times. Yeah, I've seen, and I've take seen notes. a bunch of these I take videos notes. a few times. You know, it's like I'm at school when I'm watching that stuff. <clears throat> I, I got 20 pages of notes mm-hmm. that I've taken from Walt Thornhill, all the guys, you know, the good, the big guys, uh, yeah. Don Scott and, and uh, Dave. And now, Speaking of that, I'm not, uh, uh, I don't have what's going on. Latest, I know that they haven't had a conference since 2017. Oh, it's and because they haven't, I think, it was, I think it was 2018 was the last conference. Was, I mean, are they doing okay? Are they still? They were going to, they, they were going to, or no, no, 2019 was the last conference and they were going to do one in 2020, but COVID. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we all passed away. Is Dave yeah. okay? Is Don okay? Don's fine. Dave's still stroked out. Yeah. But he's he's working. Apparently, he's working on his uh, final project. I see his son's doing some of the videos. Yeah. 
Stuart Talbot, he's he's on the videos, and I like this new guy, Matt Finn. He's little. His voice is a little um, condescending. I haven't seen that one, but I've been busy. But, but. Uh, I, I I like him nonetheless because he puts it, you know, plain and simple, like like no, you the mean. old videos used to, you know, say it plain and simple that these guys are idiots and uh, their theories are moronic. Why don't you make one? Me? Yeah. I, 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 dude, dude, you have a lot to offer. I need, huh? I need a group of people to to be talking with. I can't, I can't formulate a conversation, right? On, you know, to myself, yeah, for myself okay. or other people. You're making, you're making one now. Yeah, well, that's yeah. true. Yeah, but I was what? saying, make one of them little uh, eighteen minute where the guy, the the the, the narrator. Talks no, and the I'm, just a, talks. I'm just a color commentator. Just think of me as a color commentator. I'm, like Johnny Carson yeah. had that big fat guy. Ed, Ed. Yeah, there you go. I, I'm that guy. I'm the I'm the yep. guy that that has the but knowledge that when that. somebody says something, and then it does it's it's not quite right. I'll correct them. Yeah, and. And then, you know, they can go on from there. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, I mean, again, I can't, I can't sit down and, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, make a, make a video about a subject because I just, I would just, I would, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything to talk about. I need people like Andrew and yourself to guide the conversations. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's I, I understand. I mean, I'm, that. I'm a smart, I'm a smart guy, but I just I ask I'm, a lot I'm of questions. I'm actually questions. introverted. Yeah, I, I I can see that yeah, to a, to an extent. Yeah, I, I see that. But I mean, I'm just saying, you know, it's uh, I just like I said before, I love the fact that you're in the chat room helping people. That you know, it's very like I said, you do. You're the way with the Electric Universe about that, uh, uh, like you are everything that you're passionate about. I just like to see you get a little more involved, but you know, focus. it's okay. Yeah, it's all about focus. Right. Exactly. When, you got that. Doing, right. When you're doing something, focus on it. Learn as much about it as you can. Mm -hmm. Only in and that, always have only after that can you can you comment on it and the beginners. I, I was. I, uh, I I cut my teeth on uh, the Electric View show. Oh so yeah, I'm, I'm, com I I'm comfortable in a group talking and. He's you know. the only guy that ever had me as a guest. Nobody else ever asked me. <laughs> yeah. And it's, I it's think a... I I think it was me that prompted him to have you. Oh, Ramon had me too uh, last year. That was yeah. that was fun. I enjoyed that. And, you know, but uh, then, you know, all shit broke loose when I woke up with this lump. But yeah, uh, I'm I'm going to finally break down and go see an uh, alternative doctor and see what, you know, I need a pet test. I don't know what's going on. I've been treating myself since I got diagnosed. Yeah. And then garlic, um, just some quercetin, berberine. Uh, I have added silicone and. Just going to cumin, you name it, I take it. I take probably about 12 to 16 supplements a day, not, yeah. include, not including the B17. Mm. It's expensive too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know if I've, maybe I've already beat it. One thing I know is this, and I don't know how we got talking about this, probably my big mouth. My tumor is the same, is smaller now than it was when I discovered it. That's got to well, be then, good. Well, that's, that's got to be good. Definitely good. Because yeah. uh, those fucking things only increase in size and get bigger and spread, dude. Oh, they just took a, one out of a guy's neck that was as big as a cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the thing that I don't like about it is it's laying right on top of my left jugular. Bit. I hope that doesn't have any... Because I I read well if it got that, bigger it would start pressing on it and yeah you know lack of oxygen to the brain could cause yeah. problems yeah 
And I wanted to take it out, but the doctor said, well, if I take it out, I'll just come back. Well, okay, let it come back. But I don't. I think I licked it, and it's just now a benign cyst. So I got to go have a test and all that shit. Yeah, well, yep. hopefully, it, hopefully that is the case. I've been grounding every day since I found out. I've been, you know, that too. And also red light therapy. I mean, everything I can think of. Meditation. Yep. Everything. Anything. Have you have you been eating, eating a better. lot of sweets? No. Yeah. I, oh, have, I have about oh. one one ice cream a week. You know, I'm a firm believer that sugar. if you if well sugar transfer cha- uh, changes into what it, feed, it feeds the hang beast. on hang on yeah no 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 it doesn't feed the beast glucose tra- tra- sh- sugar turns into acid in your body it, it does. Yeah, it gets converted into acid into your body. That makes your body acidic. What doesn't cancer like? Alkaline. No, acid. Well, it, well cancer likes acid. No, it doesn't. No, everything we've seen said, said um, cancer doesn't like acid, acidic body. It likes an alkaline body. But sugar also converts into glucose. Yes. Which then converts uh, yeah. into um I heard glucose which then, it's cancer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, glucose and then it uh what's it with um diabetes? What's the, what what is it? Glucose and you get um Well there's 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 also uh, what's the name? There's also foods that are also <laughs> acidic that you oh, can yeah. eat as well. They don't have to be don't have don't, they don't have to be sugar, but you can eat acidic foods as well, and that will yeah make your body. Uh, sorry, I was wrong. You were right. Uh, yeah. Your uh, cancer doesn't like a, a, an alkaline body, and your right. your your, your, bo- your body your body will turn alkaline if you start <laughs> eating uh, uh, ca- um, too much. If you if you if you eat a lot of uh, acidic foods and sugars, I basically your body will go alkaline. Salad and cabbage soup. That's all I live on. Just slightly, not 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 heavily alkaline. It'll it'll just it'll just go to the side of alkal al- alkalinity instead of acidity. Well, you schooled me on that. I was <laughs> drink drinking high alkaline water. But what I did was when I was talking one night, you came in and said, you got to drink base at 7.4. I didn't know that. I've been drinking base ever since then. Drink Coca-Cola, like a sugary. That's acidic. That's acidic. Yeah. That'll turn your body. That'll turn your body alkaline. So I can drink a Pepsi? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's good news. (laughs) <laughs> I'm going to run out and get one. I haven't had one in a little while, you know, at least well, a day. Again, your body will fun. counter the acidic okay. that mm-hmm. comes into it, yeah. right? Yeah. That'll make the cancer fight. Or right. That'll fight the cancer because it's because your right. body is slightly alkaline now. Cancer it's can't live in an Mm-hmm. That's right. I got, I got it backwards at the beginning. Pathogens are positive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a great picture right there. I love that picture. I'll tell you, when I discovered the electric universe, I know probably for you too, Rick, it changed my life, man. I mean, I, I was, it was an epiphany, but I had always, always suspected it. I was always skeptical. Well, I never saw these astronomers talking about ten dimensions and black holes. Like they knew it was it's ten billion years old. Uh, this star is gonna die and turn into a, I just never believed it. I said, How do they know that shit? I was out for answers, you know, where we came from, how we came about, you know, being the way we are. Yeah. You know, like you know, searching for shit like the Anunnaki and all of that stuff long yeah. before I got into the electric universe. And I'll be da- I'll be damned. 
soon as I saw symbols of an alien sky, everything clicked, man. Yeah, that's all of the all of the information that I had gained, gleaned over my adulthood. Everything just clicked. I went, oh, it, my yeah. fucking I God. know it's true. Yeah, you know what? It this should is, have been that. This is real. But my movie was Thunderbolts of the Gods. Right. That's what woke me up. The first video I saw with Wall was. Uh, well, I was more his more into history and, and uh, stuff like that. And that's what that's what I guess that's why Thunder or Symbols of an Alien Sky popped up on my feed mm-hmm. because I was you know like searching the ancient Egyptians and Sumerians and all of this stuff and I just searched electricity in space. I didn't. I didn't. I was going for his historical knowledge, trying to yeah. again, trying to find out, figure out how we came like, about and how, why are we, why we are like we are, and all of this shit. And yeah, I know. It's interesting. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. What? When I saw what David was laying down, I said, "Oh my god, he's got this figured out. He he, he understands what's going on," and that's what. I started watching the rest of the videos and introduced to Wall, and it was like, yes, yes, well, yeah, 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 that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. that's why, that's why. In in the Book of the Dead, that they said that the sun stood motionless in the in the sky. That that perplexed me. I mean, you, you, you cannot um, you, you cannot fathom how how perplexed I was about that that one little line in the Book of the Dead. Which one? The sun, this minute, this the, the sun stood still. Stood, mm-hmm. stood the sun stood motionless in the sky, and again, the that's Sumerians, in the Book of the Dead. I did not with, know with, that. with with with. The Sumerians, with their the depiction of the sun tied down with ropes, meaning it didn't move. Right. I'm sitting on the table, right? Mm-hmm. That's Shamash. That wasn't the sun. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and, and as soon as I, as soon as I understood that, I went, "Oh my God, this is correct. This stuff is correct. This is." The cosmology that we're given in schools is bullshit. I figured it out from watching that one video of the Electric Universe. That, yeah, that's right. This is right. This is reality, not the garbage that people think up in their minds and then everybody else jumps on it and says, yeah, that's good. I like that. Consensus is not the way you build your history. I wouldn't think so. It shouldn't be, but that's the way it is. No doubt. It's it's maddening. Yeah. I think they've got there's got to be a reason why they're they're suppressing it. It's probably because it would lead to free energy or something like that. It's not suppress. There's not that they're suppressing it. Well, they poo-poo it. I mean, look at, they got some band now called Electric Universe, and their pictures are starting to eclipse Thunderbolts. You don't think, that, you don't think that's on purpose? Mm, like, no. if you if you Google Saturn, like, you get the car. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's it's like that with a lot of things. Well, money drives you don't, you the don't world think, and economy you know, and... You don't and, think mainstream cosmology is suppressing elec- the electric force, electric universe? You don't think so? You think that's just a mindset? Well, again, they drill it into you. Why won't they even go there? Well, if you're if you're a student, they drill it into you that this is this is the, this is the way it is. This you know special relativity and general relativity and no, that's bullshit. Uh, in quantum mechanics and this is the way it is and if you don't understand it that's okay you will eventually just here here's the equations run through them see if you can find any fault in them tell us you know this is 
this is the bullshit that that they're given to baffle them you know they're they're baffled by bullshit and they just can't see through it because they just don't have the discernment they don't have they're they're too focused in one area and the electric universe isn't focused in one area. <coughs> they're looking at biology geology and history they're looking at cos the cosmos the mother of of all the sciences multidisciplinary yeah that's the way everything should be yeah everything has to line up if one thing is off then it's not good yeah the, the Velikovsky started that yeah and, and you know scientists can't be blamed for being specialists because if you're if you're not a specialist in an area you don't get you don't get you know high praise or high price or whatever right That's so correct. so you you can't be a general scientist and and expect to have any kind of good living so that's another reason why they're drawn to specialize in staying in their little own little field and not going out exploring other fields yeah and the trouble with that rick is Funding. Over time, what they call an expert, my my thing to that is, yes, you're an expert today with the knowledge that we have now, but as the knowledge evolves and different things change, and we've seen that throughout history where something can take three or four hundred years from when it was first put together to when it's been agreed by the masses. Yeah, <clears throat> and, or by and the, that's one by of the, the general. I have when I see... Yeah, yeah, and that's one of the things I see when, oh, we got this expert. No, 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 he's only, or she, he's only the person that currently has that information, but now others will use that, and they can come up with a completely different set of answers. Then you have to keep testing, keep testing, where we've well, seen recently, yeah, and we've seen recently whereby <clears throat> the money it becomes the driving factor so if I'm getting the money for my um, answer, theory, whatever, hypothesis, well, I'm not, even if it starts to come a bit off skiff, I will try and put it back online to make it look good because I've got to continue that process. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, you know, you, you go through things, you know, back to Newton and all them. It took a long time before a lot of the work they did was accepted. Who was that, Andy? No, actually, Newton's work Pardon? was accepted Newton? pretty quickly. It was accepted pretty quickly, man. But here's the thing. <clears throat> Newton didn't even freaking know about electricity. You think he wouldn't have changed things about his I form no hypothesis if he, if he knew about that? And you don't think it wouldn't change? But, you know, that's the thing. That's, that's what science is about, right? I mean, it's it's what, empirical evidence well, we, and observation. Well, but what we have Newton, now is Newton was looking at gravity, and even if he knew about electricity, he might not have put the two together. the two together and and figured out like Wall Thornhill is that you know gravity is yeah. a dipole of every atom that is a conglomerate of that body in space and the grav the, the 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 specific gravity of of an object is based on its mass and its density what about its uh, charge in the core does that have any yeah? um oh, so i don't that. i i i don't think so greg i don't think gravity has anything to do with 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 the charge of the core of a planet um other, I don't think other planets and moons have a core like Earth's that is uh, a plasmoid, an active plasmoid. Uh, uh, like Venus has, has barely any magnetic field at all whatsoever to speak of. It may have a, it may have a hot core still. I would probably still, yeah, of course it may have. It does have a hot core still, but I think it's, I think it's just too large of a, of a hot core to 
be able to take the electrons that the sun's delivering. And, and it's probably lacking a main ingredient for that transfer to happen, which is water. Something special about water with about the hydrogen ox oxygen combination. At, at, Venus doesn't have it and probably probably will never have water and probably will never have well, a, a magnetic field like Earth. Well, Shockwave, he brings me to something that you may remember 12, 18 months ago, Randall Carlson came out talking about that plasmoid they were using with an engine and that, mm -hmm. and everybody was sort of debunking Plasma him. Engine. Yeah, well, there's been some more now. I, th I sent Greg a thing the other day on it, whether he got time to look at it or not. But some, some, a fella took a sample from an engine after it had been ran on that system, right? Didn't get a big sample, and they he sent it to oh, a laboratory with um, electro, what's the name, microscope. And they found a carbon dated back somewhere around 33,000 years. So basically... They're going to do more tests, and it looks like it's going to debunk Interesting. the majority of what we call years. carbon carbon dating. It looks like it will, you know, show what a, a lot of people say and suspect that carbon dating is not a very good way of measuring. Um, yeah, so mm -hmm. that's what they found. But now, whether... So you start, so that engine, he'd believe... You can't, you can't carbon date man on that's non-organic, bro. Well, hang on, hang on. So that engine that he got it from, he believed originally it had been man on diesel, but then, then it turned out, no, it had been natural gas, right? So then one of his theories was that, well, is that the age of that gas? Is that gas only 33,000 years old, you know, we get told it takes millions of years to make um, these, mm -hmm. you know, gas, oil, and oil. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> well, is, is it actually nowhere near as old as we believe or, or what? And so it'll be interesting to continue to watch that and Velikovsky see how it develops. Yeah. Velikovsky yep. and Venus. Venus de delivered all of, mostly all of the hydrocarbons on the Earth that we have. Mm. There, there is stories of the ancients saying that the pitch fell from the sky, that the rivers were fire, that the oceans were mm. boiling. Yep. During this encounter with Venus, she delivered even edible hydrocarbons to the Jewish people. Yeah. In the form of manna. Yeah. If there's anything crazy, it's that. Yeah. But it, after it fed the people, then it poured naphtha all over them. <laughs> yeah. Again. Nap the raining from the skies. The first dragon. Mm hmm See, these scientists oh, don't take any account of of the ancient tales and legends when they should. They think everything is like the way it is now. Calm, cool, and collected. Mm -hmm. Well, the gods would the, the 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 ancients wouldn't have talked about the gods battling in in the heavens if they fucking well didn't. They, they, if I if I search war in the heavens, it's going to be aliens. Yeah, yeah. But it's. Yeah, but I think that a lot of that yeah, alien but, stuff, Greg, is a divergence. Diver right. yeah, diversion. Oh, I think it's a diversion, and a but lot of it's what? created what? because why everybody's focusing on that. Why would the why would ancient people uh, just use their imagination and write, you know, like uh, science fiction thrillers? I mean, 
would why would they just bullshit? Wouldn't it be like uh, sacred writing to them? Well, I mean, you, look you at have to remember that they like wanted to keep that made they, it. They wanted to make sure that the population remembered. Yeah. So they made up these these stories that were based That's on awesome. people, based on yeah, but they were so called I living that, people, yeah. but they're the gods. Right. They're the they planets. were alive. They didn't just make up the planet names out of the whole cloth. They probably would have named them after great kings, right? No. 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 They would we don't ever make kings. anything up out of whole cloth. Have you ever noticed that? If someone gets an idea, it's from something else. Well, they would have to, they would see, you know, so many different gods in the sky that they would have to name them. Yeah. Just like naming your child. Yeah. So. It, well, I definitely agree with that. I'm Saturn theory all the way, man. I, I think that it's, there's just too much evidence in its favor. Mm -hmm. But I people agree. don't take it serious. They still want to talk about micronovas from the sun. I'm like, no, man, we haven't been going around the star, but a few thousand years. I mean, well, he's, Ben's talking about uh, these cyclical disasters and blah, 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 blah. And we don't know that these are cyclical disasters. And if if the electric universe is right, they're not cyclical disasters. They the only cyclical disaster that happened was Venus orbiting the sun on a different orbit, a more elliptical orbit, and encounter, encountering the Earth for 750 years. Not every year. And Mars, before that, in the polar configuration, oscillating back and forth between Venus and us 12 times. That's a cyclical disaster. They saw it coming. They hid in the tunnels, in the caves, and waited till it started going back the other way. <coughs> and as far as Venus and Mars, it's good. after we got dropped off, their orbits were erratic and elliptical, and we encountered them. We saw Mars up close. We saw its steeds fore and aft. We knew that it had steeds. We knew that it had two moons. Right. Yeah, that's right. Jonathan Swift mm -hmm. had access to ancient texts that are no longer available. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. There is very, very few ancient texts left. In fact, I think the only ones that made it were the ones that were written on stone and indestructible because anything that was written on paper was burned long or, ago. Or, or, or they're in the Vatican. Well, yeah, you got that right. Yeah, they... they Shit, they probably got the Library of Alexander in there and everything. No, they've they've got mm -hmm. some pretty pretty damn old documents. So I'll tell Who you who knows that, that, that would that would answer quite a few questions, but they don't want them to to come out. Do you know Vatican is Latin for place of the sorcerers? Yeah. Who? Hmm? Do I think the Catholic Church is evil? I think it's always been evil. My mom used to call it cult. I don't have anything against Catholics. They're good people. They're excellent people. I just don't. It's, it's not mean, the people. Religion, it's, saints it's the leaders. Find your and, way into heaven and all that crap. It's the leaders well, that, that get up into the positions of power that get walked into uh, how it is, basically. You well, you I mean? go back to the history. It, it, it sort of evolved as part of the Roman state. Yeah. You know, and, and I hear people, I hear people, yeah, I hear people, you know, they like to quote how good the Roman Empire was, but then you don't have to scratch the surface far to realise that things that are being complained about today is what it became, whereby you had such a big inequality between the, within the population. So you had this few, like we call the billionaire club today, that had... Massive, massive amounts of everything. And then you had a lot of people that were just there to serve them and their requirements. And really, that's where a lot of all this came from, was making sure that 
we served our master class. Yeah, and a, and a, and, a, and, a, and a, don't forget a good portion a good portion of the Roman population, the population in Rome itself, were mm -hmm. slaves. That's right. Yep. That's good. I would say I would say close to, you know. close to forty or fifty percent of the population of Rome back in the day were slaves. Yes. Yes. And Palestine when you go back has sixty percent unemployment. And when you go back, well. <laughs> Oh, geez, don't get that. me started about Palestine. The West Bank. Mm. The tiny little hey. football field they all live in. I know. You, you they, never know. They don't, they don't like it when you talk about it. We're supposed to have free speech, but there's certain things. We can't even say certain words. Did you ever notice they get beeped out now? I can't say them, of course. Well, did you know, Greg, that in the U.S., Canada, Australia... Britain, France, all them countries in our putting through legislation in various forms, which is to shut down anything that's not the agreed speech. So they call it, they're calling it things such as hate, hate speech. What's the other one you might remember? Yeah. Rick, um, where someone says something and they, there's, a name, there's a term they use for it, not hate speech, but, you know, it's not... Um, uh, what's the name? And, and they're talking jail t terms with it and that. So, you know, like when we had the bug, when we had the bug a couple of years ago, if you came out and, and in the future and said, no, nah, this is a beat up, well, that's against the, um, yep. against the agreed scientific narrative. So that means then you're now liable for whatever punishment they want to give you. Yeah, I can't uh, the term life, use, up, but... up to life imprisonment. Get that. Yes, and, and you've got the same For laws talk. happening or in in your parliamentary system in Canada, and I know the same C ninety one or something, or C eighty one or something like uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yep. free speech, the, the free speech too. law. They, they're they're bringing it in to, to to try and protect the children from the pedophiles That's but, they're, but, they're at, but they're adding all this i mean we already have laws against that shit but That's they're adding all of this other stuff that like like conspiracies or or whatever they can shut that down they can yes. seize your bank accounts they're it's giving them the power that they wanted to have before they use the Emergencies Act. It's, this bill is giving them the power that they want to be able to do yeah. whatever the fuck they want. And we have a very similar bill here going through the processes at the moment. And there is a similar one in going through the processes in the US. No, and so and it's all driven by who? By the UN Sustainable Development Goals. What do you? Yep. What's that? Going to Mars with eighty thousand people. Hmm. See, ya. I don't think he's going to go. They have to have infrastructure. They're not going to go there like like that guy said. Why do you yeah, think said, they're not going to go there and live in ten? Why huts. do you think? Why do you think the politicians are so hot on? disarming the population in the u.s now why do you think it's really starting to to, to kick right. up a the notch people are getting fed up read the u.n We've had enough you read the u.n sustainability goals on disarming the populations oh i know it's it's why it's if, if, if for sustainability reasons why would you have to disarm a population because it's every country we have we're loaded up the loaded for bear with weapons yeah, Everybody but, has but, a weapon in America. But we're talking about it's not this should. We're talking about sustainability goals here. We're not talking about. I think that some emergencies the, come in. These there. Sus, these sustainability I, goals lead to something else, which is 1984, George Orwell. Yes, I think that they want and one world and, so they can, and if you, they, if you want to have a look at government, got to take over martial law. 
Yep. Well, if you want to have a look at the moment, there's very little money being invested in in new in new oil or new energy. You know, we we're on this big thing with um, um, solar and wind renewables, but we're sort of saying we could throw the old out. We don't even have to worry about it. And we're coming to a point where what they term peak oil is is sort of occurring. Because peak oil doesn't mean you're going to run out. It just means it's a lot more expensive, the whole supply chain. So as that occurs and people start, their living standards start going backwards in a big way, they're going to get pretty upset. Well, you, yeah. don't really want them, you don't really want them to um, arm with their own. Well, here's in the that thing. situation, you need to de-arm them so you can control them to the narrative that yep. you want. That's, that's the, the reason. That's the reason why they that 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 is in the UN sustainab, sustainability goals is so that the population yes. can't stand up against you and say fuck you. Yeah. Well, you know what? It might be coming to that if they if they're not smart. And and that's this is the thing. I see. The Democrats are in a tough situation. They should have run Bobby Kennedy because he lost. His uncle and his father at the altar of freedom, a Democrat. I think they owed him that much, but they they shunned him and he went independent. But here's the thing: Biden can't get elected dog catcher. I don't. Those thirty points they're giving him, I don't think it's true. I think that's the cheating. Is thirty points? You know, I mean, nobody likes the guy. Mm-hmm. So who yeah. else? Is there? Trump. What are they doing to Trump? They're trying to kill him. Well, they're trying to try him so that he can't run again. He's got some four hundred and ninety million dollar, you know. I mean, where did that come from? You know, because he's mm-hmm. his own papers, which every president does. I don't understand. That's a witch hunt. I, whether you like Trump or not, it's just wrong that he's being treated that way. Oh yeah. And I think you know. I think Trump didn't do a lot because fucking as soon as he got elected. The, the Democrats were wringing their hands trying to get him impeached for throwing a piece of bubble gum on the sidewalk or something. Mm-hmm. And then after that, COVID hit. And don't I, I think that was aimed. Don't forget about Russia, Russia, Russia. Blaming Trump. Aimed, well, Trump, Trump and Russia get along. No, I'm saying Russia gate, dude. Oh, that's <laughs> bullshit. I don't know. For almost four years of his president presidency were directed towards that bullshit scenario where they said that he was tied with Russia and it took three years for them for the Mueller bullshit to go through and yeah, yeah every I, I mean you can tell it was a witch hunt that they were looking. Absolutely. They were they were straining to find something against them. Nancy Nancy Bill Lugosi. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I think after listening to the Tucker Carlson interview with Putin, the biggest problem Trump had was the CIA. What? Right, because you go back to where, you know, there was discussions with George Bush with the Bushes and Clintons about creating a system of defence whereby it would make it that nobody could really attack anybody. And the presidents and that were pretty keen on that sort of theory. And then next minute the CIA would be telling them why we don't want to go down that path. So, and, and when you look at what's going on now, the more they're whacking at Trump, it seems to be working in the reverse, where Trump's being able to turn it around in his favour. So whether they want him back as president or not, I'm not really sure. You know, um, that, that's what I, I'm sort of looking at. Well, are they trying to get him back because they realise this bloke's not what they wanted or, or, or what's the ultimate goal? Oh, Lord, you know, people so feel sick. people feel feel sort of sorry for the way he's being treated. It's funny how we do that with these people that are in privileged positions. 
but they feel sorry for him and they say, well, I'm going to vote for him because he's been treated badly. Yeah, that's possible, sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Trump has a lot of supporters. You, you know, I mean, if they don't do something, he, it doesn't matter. I mean, he's going to find the $400 million somewhere. Even if he has to sell everything he has, he'll still be president. I mean, you know, it's not like he's going to be living in a shack with an outhouse. I mean, if they don't get him in prison, I don't know. Can you get elected president when you're in prison? Maybe. I don't know. I know that one I guy, LaRoche, remember him in 74? They put him yeah. in prison. He ran for president still and got some votes. He was a good man. But, you know, he wasn't a Demo Democrat or a Republican. I put him in prison. That was the late. I, I that was the early nineties. I put him. Oh, in was prison. I know that he right. ran. Yeah, yeah. Days. George Bush, George Bush Senior was behind that. Yes, George Bush yes. Senior was a terrible person. He was crooked as crooked. <laughs> but yeah, he was behind put that that with him, and you know, it doesn't matter what business you are. Uh, the right person can always show your accounts two ways, can't they? You know, and that's really what happened with him. Yeah, no, he was a very good speaker too. Yeah, but again, so China's doing some of the things he talked about. We should have been doing one belt road, all that stuff. Well, we can't. We build and, bases all around China and then get upset when they, uh, you know, react to it. Yep. It's not China. Yeah, it's us, true. man. And I hate to say that. I love America, but why are we even meddling around over there? You know, we're like the big bully. Ah, yeah, we're in the United States. Look out. Here we come. That's, you know, yep. don't stand in our way or we won't give you $20 billion. You know. I mean, there's there, the thing in Iraq, you know, where they discovered this ancient technology, whatever it was. But they discovered it and all of a sudden America had to invade Iraq. And they, you know, somebody pillaged the, the Iraqi museum. I don't know who it was, but they were going after ancient knowledge. In World War II, Hitler sent crews all over the earth looking for ancient knowledge. They were looking to build a Vermana. And some people say they did. I don't know. I don't, I've never seen any proof of that. It's, an, it's a funny story. I mean, it's a cool story, but. Do you think, what do you think about the Nazis having a base in Antarctica and all that? Do you buy any of that? Oh, it's a hard one to buy. Um, but then. But at, yeah. at the same time, there's but something then we did, on down there. But then we do know that, that they did develop a lot of tech. Yeah. And you've often got to wonder at the end of it how how they made the mistakes they made that ended up costing them so much. But, yeah, did, did they overestimate what the Allies were prepared to throw at them? In other words, how many people lives they were prepared to throw to, to stop them? To stop who? Aye? The Nazis? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I think they must have overestimated how... How many lives the Allied forces were prepared to throw yeah. right. oh, I at see. them to stop? You know what, what I'm getting at is there was millions and millions of deaths, and and ultimately they 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 just um, we were able to produce more than them, which meant they just couldn't keep up. Yeah. yeah so, but then we transferred a lot of their technology. <laughs> I'm a World War II freak. I love World War II. I've seen just about every video that's ever made. My favorite series is World at War. It's a great series. It's got even the Germans talking. They're talking about in Russia. So he goes, all you saw was just snow and snow and snow. And it never ended. And it didn't matter how many Russians we took prisoner, they just kept coming and never stopped. That's there. You know, Russians are badasses, man. I wouldn't want to have to fight a war against them. You, you know, know with, the their, with their war, method for going through a minefield, the, 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 Crimean war arms war the, the Crimean War in the late 1850s is the one you need to go and start 
with because that became sort of the first real industrial one, <clears throat> and that was where they used rail, where they built railways to fight the war. And then World War One, they developed tanks and um, an aircraft. Machine guns. And by World War by World War Two, they'd started to get them down, down very, very, to very efficient, efficient. And, and of course, right. the end result of World War Two, as we know, was the atomic bombs. Yeah. So, so when you look, you got to go back I to the heard that World War War One. That was very interesting. Yeah, keep going, Brad. I was going to say, uh, have you heard? of the of the conspiracy that world war one was started to get the uh, turkish what was that called the ottoman empire. Tur- ottoman empire out, out of the world because they were too powerful that uh, i i just heard that i don't know if it's true you know it's the kind of world we have I mean, war 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 kill 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 even in the bible in the well, old testament well, you go the to Ottoman the, Empire can kill the whole town. <laughs> and why is by well, by why World is it War One the Ottoman Empire had, had, had shrunk a lot? Yeah, they'd made some bad decisions. So they'd lost Egypt and, no, and a few of them Arab states. Is that were Turk? The Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire, is that where Turkey was? Turkey, Iraq, yeah. Iran, it was freaking huge. It was huge, huge. Right? yeah, yeah. It, more, even more than that. It, no, the, the Astro-Turkish Empire. Empire. There were two of them. There was the Ottoman Empire, and then there was the something Turkish Empire, right? Yeah, the Ottoman Turkish Empire. Oh, that's what it was called, okay. Yeah, and they were like... Basically, basically what you call your Muslim... Basically, what you call your Muslim world today was all under the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, they you know, that, that, they were simple way. Right? They were responsible for retaking Jerusalem. The Ottoman Turks retook Jer- Jerusalem from the uh, from the Crusaders. That's how far back it goes. It, it, yep. it, the Ottoman Empire has was was an empire for a very long time. Five or six hundred years, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Thirty-nine thousand USGIs were slaughtered in one day. You don't, couldn't we have come up with a better plan? It's kind of butchery. Well, They're that's why they dropped. Power. That's why they dropped the atomic bombs on Japan. What, what were they, they were expecting? Like, a, they were expecting a million casualties. The president and his family should have been the first ones out of the boat. If they were, then they wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. true, isn't it? Well, that's war pigs. And they declare war. The, the song "War Pigs" comes to mind. What, what? You say, Greg, that's the thing. Generals gathered in their masses. Yeah, I remember that song. Just like witches at Black Masses. Yeah. That's what yeah. that's what comes to mind when in the wars the body burning. Yeah, I love that too. I haven't heard it in years. I was uh I was a you know when I was 17, if it didn't have a distortion guitar, I didn't want to listen to it. Mm. But then, you know, when I got into my 20s, I started expanding. I got into the blues and I started appreciating other kinds of music. I love it. Every, I love it all now. You know, I listen, listen to some rap. I like techno. Some of it's crap, but some of it's good. A lot of it's good. These young kids, they, they had so many skills with DJ, you know. Evil minds at plot destruction. Yeah, bring it up. Sorcerer of death construction. <laughs> and then you already did the in the fields bodies burning part. Yeah. In the fields bodies burning. I don't have a tuner. I don't. I can't, it's hard for me to sing uh, 
As the war machine keeps, keeps turning. Man. Yeah. Great lyrics, man. I can't get I my know. pictures back. And the reason why we are like that? Yeah. Because we saw them doing it in the sky. Right. We saw them throwing right. thunderbolts at each other and knives and swords and spears and in the form of plasma bolts. Go into that town and kill every man, woman, and child. And you know, you know, because of because of the famines, oh, it's and, in the Bible, and the and the, the pestilence and the the, the 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 diseases that came with these interactions with the planets. One group of people said, "Finally, oh, we've had enough. These guys over here got some shit, man. We got we got wiped out. We're gonna go over there and take their shit." And that's war. That's how it started. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, getting back to that Crimean War, more people died in that war of dysentery and stuff than actually on the battlefield. And if you look at World War I, um, it was the same. Huge amounts of, of our soldiers, they died of, Simple things that, like dysentery and that because of the conditions. And I suppose that's one thing the modern system well, like actually the, act, generate back actually, into them trenches. They, they didn't die of dysentery in World War One. They were pulled off the, uh, off the front and recovered, and then they put back on the lines. But... Um, yeah, but a hell of a lot did though. In in the Crimean War, the medical wasn't as good as it is, as as it uh, was in World War One. So, yeah, a lot of people died from dysentery and shit. Yeah, and uh, I think know. they had um, cholera or one of them go through as well at the same time. Yeah, and the don't thing forget. that saved World yes. War Two, the thing that saved World War Two, especially on the Allies' side, a lot was was we we were able to invent penicillin during World War Two, and that became the one that was a godsend. Saved, you know, that's what saved, saved the lives. British Army in yeah. Africa with their uh, thing that was going on down there against Rommel. Uh, when Montgomery took over, he was a stickler for good sanitation. So he forced the, he made his troops, you know, when they dug their hole to shit in, he made them... Uh, cover it, you know, so it couldn't get insects, and he made them wash their hands. And as a result, I think the Germans, like, lost 40% of their fighting force to dysentery and things like Talk that. Dysentery. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you, if you don't cover your latrines, your fly is going to jump on there, and you, there's yeah. a lot of flies down there, and then you're, you know, you're eating, you're going to sit, jump on your food, and poof. That's right. You got dysentery. Well, you know what I noticed? When they had the big march across Europe of refugees a couple of years ago, right, and they'd show pictures of it, and you'd, and you'd see what we've known now know. As they walked through, it was just like a, like a big herd of cattle or something. There was shit and rubbish everywhere. And I thought, hang on a minute. We're meant to be smarter than everything else. Wouldn't you just bury it on the way so you at least had a, the best environment while you were doing your your walk across to the new lands in Europe? People but don't no. give a fuck. <laughs> and I dare, say, I dare say if you have a look where the ones are coming through the border into the US now through Mexico, you'd probably find a similar mess all down through there too. Yep. <clears throat> You know, so, and then we wonder why we end up with all these diseases and that. Yeah, it's pretty easy uh -huh. to cover it up. Even the dog tries to cover it up. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's right. <laughs> well, at least they do a couple of swipes so in we... the grass, you know. The cat is what to cover yeah. it my cat yeah. coops more. I mean, it's not really a good subject. Man, my cat drives me nuts. As soon as I clean the litter, she goes in there and takes a nice, big, healthy dump. Yep, that's what they do. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And Calvin oh, out. he got done working. Okay, yeah, let's come in here. And her pee goes through the, the plastic. It goes through the plastic. You got to get a thicker yep. tray. Yeah, got to get a thicker tray. So I something to go to get, Greg. I know. Uh, There's always something happens, you know. It's like Roseanne, Roseanne, and Dana. It's always something. <laughs> yep. If it ain't this, it's uh, that. I saw the Pope. He had a booger yep. hanging from his nose. I said, hey, Pope, flick that booger off your nose. Did I'm actually you? going to Gilda's Club Monday. It's it's a cancer uh they offer support and had yeah. set up with doctors and stuff. She died of ovarian cancer at the age of 42. She was uh, the first, the first uh, one of those things was uh, up here in Canada, up in Toronto. Yeah. yeah she was from Ontario. Oh, I, well, she lived in Royal Oak because that's where the well, she lived, club is. But she was, she was. Part I didn't of the know, I didn't know she, was Canadian. she was Canadian. Gilda Radner. Yeah. yeah. I used to watch Saturday Night Live back then. It was so oh, S SCTV. She was on Saturday Night Live too. Dude. She was with Chevy Chase and other the great ones, Bill Murray. She maybe not, maybe she I'm not person. thinking of the right person. Hang on. Yeah. Jane Curtin was with her, and Lisa Kudrow, I think, and then uh, uh, her, uh, Roseanne was in her dad. And what was her? She was Gilda Red. And I, yeah, the, I mean, you saw so many great bands, too. You don't even get to see. Uh, the, I'll never forget the show that uh, Devo put on. They played Satisfaction. They, they come out dressed like aliens and moved like robots. I, lo I, I really love that. And uh, I saw the Stones on there, and uh, yeah, there so many bands that were really good. The Blues Brothers, remember them? Yep. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna get back in the studio and record a couple more new songs. I haven't recorded a new song in quite a while. You know, that song that I recently put on SoundCloud. I that was that song was more just me just goofing around. I was reading my notes and it just was a coincidence that they rhymed. <laughs> and I got 295 listens on that song in four days. That's big for me. I don't get a lot of listens. You know, I mean, I'm kind of in a catch 22. I'd like to make some money on it, but no, nobody's going to buy something they can't hear. So, you know, I don't know. I don't I know. Had I had Gilda conf confused with Andrea Martin. Yeah. yeah. I'm rarely wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. But, uh, yes, I, I'm really bummed that uh, Neil couldn't catch us. We still got about a half an hour to go or 22 minutes. So what, let's get into something. What do you want to get back into your uh, the electric universe for a bit? Or is there anything that you want to... Maybe you want to say or school people on, Rick? Well, not really. Just go watch the Electric Universe videos inside and out until you understand. What's your favorite video besides Symbols of the Sky or Thunderbolts of the God? Oh, Which geez. one did you find the most profound? I loved Walt Thornhill, like, uh, Understanding Gravity and Proto Saturn. Well, the cradle of life. I, I was kind of drawn to the electric comet, but uh, symbols of an alien sky was the most profound for me because it, it, like I said, it, it, when I so when I watched it, all mm -hmm. the information that I had gleaned over my lifetime, it clicked. Mm -hmm. Everything just went wow. I just like yeah. couldn't I believe know. what I was okay. seeing. It was, uh, it, was it, it came out moment. true. It was just true. Yeah, the something, it, it's, there's a term, and it's, it's a something moment. It's like when, wow, just all mm -hmm. these answers I've been looking for, you know, 
An and it's like out of the blue. Yeah, the epiphany. It's, it's, it's out it's of a, the blue. Yeah. 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 No doubt. Yeah, out of the blue. Like Damn. a diamond bullet right through your forehead. Well, I mean, looking at Saturn here, the picture of Saturn, those rings, they're made of frozen seawater. Yeah. And I do mean frozen seawater because right. it's salt water and all of the same isotopes that are in Earth's water mm -hmm. are in Saturn's water. And guess what? Nowhere else in the solar system is the water the same as the rings in Saturn and the water on Earth. Go right. Right, and you're right. Figure out, exactly go right. and figure out an answer for that that doesn't involve Saturn being our star and in close proximity to us. And I might, you know, consider your theory. But you cannot tell me that our water and Saturn's rings water being identical that we that it, our water didn't come from Saturn's water mm -hmm. from the planet Saturn itself the flood the deluge that came from the heavens when they when they say that in ancient times the um, what, what 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 are the flat earthers called the the the, the sphere up there What's the, uh, firmament, the firmament? The firmament, the firmament broke yeah. open, and it, and it, and the water came. And the firmament is the sky, the the the, the space above and around the Earth, folks. Why would they say that unless it was true, unless it was fact that yeah, the water so. did come from the heavens? Yeah. And they wouldn't, yeah, heavens they wouldn't. being Saturn above right. us, depositing yeah, his, its water on us. It's 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 nonsensical that it's the fact. It's nonsensical, folks. It, you cannot. You 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 can't figure out any reason why our water would be identical with Saturn's and nowhere else in the in the solar system have they detected water that has the same isotope as Earth and Saturn's water. There's no other conclusion that you can come to. No, that's right. what I'm trying to say. Yep. Anything else is just guessing. Yeah, that's got hardcore scientific facts on its side. Yeah. There's so many. The thank actual you, Thank you, NASA, for the awesome data that you give us that you interpret wrong. Yeah. That's the only only problem with NASA. Purposely. Man. They they they've they've made it past the firmament, you flatter folks. And uh, they give us awesome data. But they, their interpretations of the data are wrong. <laughs> and yes, they might have they might have done some recording in a studio and, and said it was on the moon. But we did make it to the moon, folks. People did walk on the moon. I agree. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah, there's that one. You check this out. Uh, let's see. Lunar limb. Off. There will be a GIF. I want to show you. It looks to me, I've said this before, it, uh, it looks to me like it's an electric effect and not, a, not an explosion of a uh, rocket engine. There's no rocket coming out. It's, it's an electric. No, it's no, that's, an electric. that's thrusters, bro. See you, you, all that all that debris that, you, that you're seeing. Look at being look at kicked. watch it take off. Look at the blue. Yeah. Look at the blue. Did you see that charge? 
Yeah, um, I just think that's like that's that's like they had to use secret space technology to land that's, because that's, it left no crater. That's light, dude. That's flash. That's a, yeah. a, a burst of light. Okay, we'll just agree to disagree. I think that. Yeah, is but all of those, all of those. That's why they had a plasma physicist as the leader of the lunar lander. All of those particles that you see blowing away. That's yeah. from the thruster itself. That's from the pressure of the thruster blowing that foil like that. It could be a blow, a quick that, little thrust to get the, it up, the, and then the electric thing took over because there's the, no fumes the coming cover, out. The covering on that spacecraft was just f basically like tin foil. It was it was no, it was no thicker than tin foil, and when when that much force is applied to something like that, it's going to shred apart. And it did. And how, how else are you going to get off of the moon without using a rocket engine? It's been, no. it has been around since the sixties. Yeah. So but late, the 50s, I, actually. I don't think they, I don't think they use that. Well, that's just what I think. I, I have a, I'm a little more open minded about it because uh, you know it, it it makes sense to me. It's the electric force, like I said, the magic of the universe. There, I wouldn't I wouldn't count the electric force out of anything. Yeah, but you see, you wouldn't have to do you wouldn't have to do a long burn to get off of the moon like you would on the, to get off of the Earth. You would you would. Well, it has a lot. You would. Than one. You would hit you would hit that thruster like for like a second or so, and that would propel you up high enough that you could use your 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 other smaller thrusters to to, to keep the momentum going to get off of the off of the surface of the moon. What's the what's the gravity of the moon compared to Earth? It's far far less. Well, well I tell you what we could do would be fun. We take a pole chatters and see who the who agrees the moon. <laughs> I like stuff like that. I'm competitive. Do it. I, I want to do a electric universe Jeopardy and I need your uh, help. What? I need to yeah I want to do uh, we did it once before a guy named Frank Asher Ash Frank something. I can't remember. I'm sorry Frank. Ashcraft. Ashcraft, yes and uh, he won and he's, you know, he's been really cool about it. And I said, I'm going to do it again. But then I lost all the data that I had. And I had to start over. So <coughs> would you like to write me like, I don't know, five or six or seven questions about the electric universe with answers? Right. You know, that get from easy to a little it's harder. It's like schoolwork, dude. I know. I need the help, though, man. I can't I'm racking my brain trying to think of these questions that I didn't ask already. Well. I'll just read. Uh, I'll read some of Wall's work and just go with what he says. It's fun. It was fun. I had a good time with it too. Yeah. I would like for you to be there. Maybe play. Maybe dethrone Frank. <laughs> but we, we had the categories we had was Electric Universe, Saturn Three, uh, Norse Myth, Greek Myth, and the uh, the wild card was music. And I asked questions about the Beatles and stuff. But uh, you know, I, well, it, it was fun. I, I'd like to do it again. I guess I'll have to write it. It's I'm not fun. I'm not much of a game Being game late. show person, bro. Yeah. I'm I, and again, you know, f trying to think up questions about the Electric <laughs> Universe, I'd I'd have a hard time with that. You would? So it, it was well, it's a, it's the same as trying to do a show by myself. All right, well, here's one. You know what I mean? I'll give the question. You give the answer like they do. I need I need people around me and, and a conversation going on so that uh, I can enter the conversation and, and talk about stuff. I and what, I just don't think about stuff on my own, you know, uh, unless it's unless it's like, like the electric universe theory and additions to the theory or, or I get it. Mm -hmm. shit like that, you know. So I start off with an answer like 10 to the 39th. And you'd say the question. Yeah. Well, how is how much stronger is the electric force yeah. than gravity? Yeah. 
it's just yeah. like that, you know. That'd yeah, be like a hundred dollar question. Yeah. Then when you get to this thousand, never, then it's going to be tough, you know. I, I never got into, you know, game shows and. Shows. I know. I, I I do. I always loved game shows. Like if my favorite game show was Concentration. You had to read this puzzle that came, you know. They had to remember like one there would be a log and there'd be another log somewhere and they'd have to use their memory and hit them and they'd reveal a piece of something it would say something but with pictures like uh, you know like a girl's boobs are out and uh there's a little bit of liquid in a fifth it's there's two out in the bottom of the fifth you see <laughs> mm, yeah i got you yeah Anyways, wasted too much time talking about the moon. So uh, you think we went to the moon, huh? Now, what do you think about the other stuff they say? Like, uh, there's this stuff going. One time when uh, Lovell was on Apollo 10, he got to take, I think he got to take the limb down, but he couldn't land it. And they purposely didn't give him enough fuel. But when he went down there, he was at 50,000 feet. And he said, we're really down among them now. What does he mean? 50,000 feet, you're still way up in the air. There must Is there really skyscrapers and shit like that on the moon, like they say? No. That are like miles tall? I know there's that one tower. Have you ever seen that tower? Yeah, I've seen images. I've seen the images. Of images of it. I like keep changing them. Yeah, well, images, I keep creating them. To give the view that they want, don't they? You know, whoever. Well, NASA it, don't it, let uh, NASA don't let much out. That stuff that's been out, it got out. It just uh, it it was an accident. That, now I don't know. Do that looks natural to me. It's not a tower. It's a rock formation. Well, it could it could be a glitch in the. Uh, that's a tower. Mm. The moon is freaky. There's something freaky about it. I can't put my well, finger on it. It's just weird. We shall find out but Greg, soon enough. Greg. NASA's yeah. going back this Greg, year. Greg, you got to remember. There? I didn't mm. know that. Yeah, they are. They've Greg, already you gotta sent remember a rocket around. Changed. What? They've already Teddy sent. Changed. Changed. Oh. Sorry, they've already sent one around the moon already once. With the astronauts in it? No. Oh, okay, I was going to say. I don't think we've gotten humans above the Van Allen belt since the moon. And they, their explanation was, was uh, believable. They, they went through the thinnest part and they were on afterburners through all the way. They were only subjected to it for about just minutes. They went through it the thinnest part. Right. That's feasible. Well, we don't have to send humans to those places anymore. Not until we've really developed it, because at the end of it, we have enough um, robotic power to send, to do the initial work for humans to go there if they want. <clears throat> so that that's one of the things, too. You know, if you're going to build some form of settlement on the on the moon, like Musk's Musk is it has has the idea? No, not Musk. Um, the other bloke, he wants to build the settlement on the moon as a launching place to Mars. Well, if you're going to do that, why would you send humans up there to do it when you can send robotic machines up there to do it without all the risks and and, and all the supplies that you need just to keep humans going? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I see it. They're saying it's two yeah. craters. It does look like two craters. But there's a cut right there. That's suspicious. Ah, that's a crater's edge. There's Batman. You see Batman? Is that just me? Or a German soldier with glasses. <laughs> a giant German soldier. On the moon. Yeah. What about that crater? That like moon, I was going to say, one, man, that's freaky. Like I was going to say, Greg, that, that 
Ted, Ted Hughes pictures of Mars yeah. change the contrast and the brightness. Yeah. And all of a sudden you see all these, it's totally different, you know, like you see what could have been buildings. There was infrastructure. Yeah, but what I mean is that's how easy it is to change a picture, isn't it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> so... Did it's you harder. watch? Did you watch the Mars video I did? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, pretty good, yeah. huh? I thought it was yeah. a good. Video. Yeah. I love the Velikovsky shit. And... Oh, I know. I love all that yeah. stuff. I love good on that. Ted... We met him. Ted's really good on that. Yep. Yeah. And that's what Walt Thornhill too. He was really good with that. You know, like, um, you sort of got to wonder: Will his book ever get published? You know, because he hadn't quite finished it. There was the last Dude, chapter you know or something, I remember him saying. There's a business thing that people are doing on YouTube about you can write a Kindle book if as long as it's 30 pages long, at least, and you can charge whatever you want for it. And there's people making thousands of dollars doing this. Ted needs to put his book on Kindle. I got to okay. talk to him about that. Kindle or okay. Kindle? Kindle, I think it's, with a I think it's, oh, okay. like kindling wood. Yeah. It's funny, yeah. huh? You know, burning books, kindle. It's kind of ironic, actually. Because mm -hmm. uh, when after the big war, then there won't be any more virtual books. It is kindling. But, you know, be that as it may, I'm still pulling for us to make it. But we got to really... There's got to be some serious change. I want Ben's the little world micro Nova to come and reset everything. The world is a mess. <laughs> That's why people are thinking about going to Mars. They want to get away from this ugly, terrible planet. I mean, with you know what gets me about? You know what gets me about? You know what gets me about that, Greg? Yeah. You know, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. And they go to the other side of the fence and they find out that it isn't. And and my view is, why would Mars be any better than this? And eventually the people that you put there, you'd have a structure of hierarchy and eventually they all get corrupted. They all get greedy. They That's can't what happens. live within. So if you go there, they buy themselves a bit of time and they're back in the same mess. You know, why, why can't we collectively sit down and work out or, or, or is it really just a, a thing we've got? Because you could argue, oh, gee, this, this isn't really too bad a place to live in overall, right? You know, we just got to look at how, how do we how do we have it that, it, you know, is it's plentiful, I suppose. But then the argument is, what's plentiful? You know, you see people now, like, got billions and billions of dollars, and you think, well, <clears throat> what does that give them that I don't have? You know, other than uh, they can fly around in their own personal jet. Uh, it's really, just, it's, what, what, what yeah, do it's, give them? It's hard to understand how someone can be worth yeah. $200 billion. Yeah, they live in a different world to us. They might as well be on a different planet already. You know, you look at the um. So you're gonna be the British trillionaire. We're on their planet. <laughs> That's right. They've been yeah, in charge like, since the like, beginning. Mm-hmm. Like you look at the British royals. They I live remember in a totally that episode. World to us. You know, Musk Musk isn't Musk isn't read into the to the to the gang. You don't he's think so? he's just no. He's just one of them rich rich people that. Uh, Got rich on their own, and uh, yeah, he's not part of the club. And he's Greg knows just... what club I'm talking about, and Andrew knows what club I'm talking about. Although, the, although the Musk family were fairly well off, the guy oh, must yeah. be a genius, man. I mean, you they know, were well, he's well destroying off. the atmosphere too with his stupid batteries. You know, they got some kind of weight now in California. Electric cars, they can only charge their cars at a certain time of the day. Mm -hmm. And there's like, they're, they're shutting grids down. Mm -hmm. Because too many people 
bought into the electric car bullshit. Yeah, it's not. And good. their Those grid batteries is, are horrible. Their, their grid is suffering because of the strain that 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 all of that energy that's needed to charge their cars mm-hmm. used to go over to cooling your house or you know turning the lights on and shit. It, they, they, the electric car thing is coming back to bite them in the ass. Well, you got to look at it this way, Rick. If it takes a kilowatt of energy for me to go from point A to point B, it doesn't matter what, matter what ultimately what fuel it is. I need a kilowatt of that energy. But it's how you get that energy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and a lot of it's being produced still by what they're trying to say, by oil, by, you know, fossil fuels. Yeah. They burn so coal to create electricity. They burn gas and natural gas to... Cobalt poisons cobalt. the soil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what I was getting at is each time you do that, you actually lose energy. You know, you know what I mean? Each time you scale it, it costs you energy to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so it's not like when they go and charge their electric char- car, they're going to get further on that given start energy. You, 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 you really can't, yep. you know? Yeah, so <clears throat> that's one of the, the things that I, I sort of see with it as it's um, as a problem with it. <clears throat> so, and the amount of grid power we'll need if we wanted to convert everything electric is huge. So, yeah, there's a long way to go before we get to where they, they want if to they, If they started now building the capacity that would be needed if everybody switched today, it would take yeah. them 30 freaking years to build the plants and, and all of the windmills and yep. solar panels. It would take them 30 freaking years to build the capacity that's needed if everybody switched today. Look at that thing. And they want and they want everybody to switch to uh, to electric by 2030. That's less than fucking 8 years away, 7 years away. That's a pretty that's a pretty good. That's no, actually 6 years away. Job. Yep. I found I mean, myself on Google for Yahoo. How's that going to happen? How's that going to work? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that, that's what I'm getting at is, is maybe the timelines they're setting are just you know going to be too disruptive. Yeah. Yeah. And they're calling yeah. for 2040. The, the, they were hostile to the Europeans, obviously. Oh wow! I I forgot about this live stream, man. So they got 28 hours. <laughs> I have not been to Rumble since I signed up. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to start doing something there. You got a lot more freedom on YouTube. You, you, know, you can't even say, you know, you know, when you do yourself okay. in, you can't say that word. You can't say anything. You can't say the, you know, C word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's uh you know that's just the beginning. There's got to become a point when the people go enough is enough. I want and... my country back. And speaking of enough as enough, I'm, I've had enough. I gotta go to bed. I gotta get uh, up at six in the morning to go to the, a gun show. I want to buy oh, some clothing. Yeah. Well, okay. You know what? It was great, Rick. Did you make it for two? Did we go. Yeah. All right. Great. Man. That's, that's, yes. Yeah. Two hours. I wanted to go two oh, yeah. hours. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, Rick. It was obviously very interesting. Talking to you. Yeah, yeah, it was it was fun. I enjoyed it. Too bad Neil too. wasn't here. But I had I missed talking with him. So I know, I know. He's a cool cat. We'll have it's to get. Him. Do you want me to invite it's you next time? Starting. I'd love to have. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Okay. It's good yeah. that he's starting to get. Yeah, I'll yeah. Say it's good that Neil's starting to get himself back where he can actually do it again. Oh, he's got the creative yeah. juices flowing again. I think we're going to be seeing yeah. Neil come back. Well, I hope I hope he I hope he does you know an electric view show at least once a month, 
mm-hmm. you know, starting yeah. soon because uh, I miss I miss hanging out with him. He yeah, he's, an, he's a great guy. He's a, he's an excellent yeah. guy. for sure. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Well, he Indeed. doesn't. He's not nasty he's in any way either. You know, like there's no nastiness in him or anything like that. You know, he's, he doesn't have Ted Switzerland. No, he's a, he's a hey? good soul. He's laid back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's a good you know, soul. Ted kind of attacks it like a junkyard dog. Neil is different. <laughs> he kind of lays back, you know, and, and just yeah. he doesn't. He won't talk too much unless you prod him. You know, he's very. You know, he's got perfect, perfect guest. You're very clever, man. Yeah. And I and I swear too much. Yeah, but you know what? I don't know. I can't think of one time you swore tonight. I, I was always I did. taught. You did. I was oh, yeah. always taught that profanity is the last resort of a limited mind. No, nope. it's bullshit. filler. It's filler. That's bullshit. It's yeah, expression. See. It's expression. It's expressive speech. Is I just I'm don't. Concerned. You know, I'm never going to talk to my subscribers like, "Hey, motherfuckers, what's up?" Yeah, yeah. No, you know, no. I'm just. But they do. No, that's, that's not what people do. But that's, that's not the. But that's, but that's, that's not, not the, the context. Story you want to run. Yeah, that's not the context that I use bad language. No. And I, you know, like the, you know these freaking idiots or fucking yeah, idiots well, in, right. in, I, in I the yeah. in, in the mainstream that. scientific community. You know, that's when I use bad language because because they are freaking you know idiots. I, when I want to swear, you know, so, I say I say fart. Yeah. So it's more it's frustration. The ugliest word I'll say. Rick, it's more frustration than anything else when you use it. And it's expressing yeah. your it frustration. So. It is. Yeah. So. I've got a potty mouth and I don't care. Pass the fucking potatoes, uh, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the fucking salt. Uh, did you ever hear that joke? I don't smoke, I don't swear, and I don't lie. God damn it, I left my cigarettes at the bar. <laughs> oh, I don't smoke, I don't drink, and I don't swear. God damn it, I left my cigarettes yep. at the bar. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Son. You know, I, I got what? one. I got a good joke for you. How does Hitler tie his shoes? I don't know. Oh, damn. And little Nazis. Little Nazis. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Well, on that note, that's the best I got. <laughs> what do you reckon, Rick? On that note, we'd just about have to call it quits, wouldn't we? Uh, <laughs> on that I terrible reckon, joke, yeah, I think so. I, think I reckon so, ma'am. I know. I'm getting a little slap happy. I, I hit the stick too many times. <laughs> yeah, I'm like say, I gotta, I gotta I'm get up early, like. <laughs> Seven hours from now. So well, yeah, well you go and enjoy yourself. You go and enjoy yourself, Henry. Right. Yep. Roger and that. We'll, Roger it was good, that. It was good having a good having a chat. Yeah. Well, we're gonna do it you again know. Monday night for Patreon. Well, well, when you can, for Patreon. When you can, maybe Tuesday. When you can. Hmm? Yep. 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 Yeah. I'm in. Just just good give me deal. a call if I'm online. I'll show up. Okay. Yep, is that right. better for you earlier or later? You probably want to go earlier, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, ten o'clock is okay. you're 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 ten o'clock central, right? Right. No, I'm just... you're Eastern, okay. So ten o'clock Eastern is fine, right? I can stay up until twelve. Yeah. Well I'm about to go live in an hour, so Yeah, well I'd like to be there, but uh, you know, I got well, to uh do my sure thing this. tomorrow morning. Well you'll be able to watch. Yeah, I'll watch thank, it after thank, after I get home. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see, guys. See you guys down the road. How are you? I'll catch Andy. Andy, I'll catch you during the live stream. Yeah, and catch you later, Greg. And you you're too, welcome, Rick. Greg. Yeah, take it easy, it's guys. Good. It's good. All right, see you. Bye. Well, that concludes our show for tonight. That was uh, my buddy Shockwave and Andy, and we had a good conversation. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to tip.